So you might be wondering, what is and how do I get the worst voted community weapons in Grounded? Well, I'll show you with my research. Awesome guys, it's power. Bam, here's the tier list. Thank you Paralyzer, JPG, Travis Gaming, and Mediocre Milton for letting me steal your ideas. And now we're going down the page, pause if you want, and this is the last time you're gonna see it. And now it's on medium mode for the most casual experience and hoops as the best character in the game. And the yellow board name will be D tier as it's the most shit weapons I'll be using in the game. Now you can go collect some items around the world and hey look, field station, now you can research the shit items that you just found off the ground. Whoa. Now you're gonna break some clovers for absolutely no reason. And then, hey, there's a little button, I hope you'll think And they make a workbench to make the entire clover set and now you look fucking dripped out. And you make yourself a pebble hammer, the only item you're able to use to fight enemies. And then you squash the absolute shit out of this wheel for absolutely no reason. Then you kill this lawnmower that's chewing a wire because chewing's bad. And after you do that, you press this button and hey, it didn't blow up this time. Then you make yourself an eye patch because eye patches are fucking sick. Put a chest down and chuck everything you have in your inventory in there. And then make your way into this broken down lab and pick up this robot you found on the ground. And then spam through his entire dialogue because he's not relevant. Or kill this ladybug and show your dominance in the yard or get absolutely shit on either way. What? And you went underwater and get some lily pad wax. I don't know what's gonna be used for. Oh, hey, you can make a pebble dagger. Cool. Now begin your climb up the hedge and then kill these spiderlings so they're fucking ugly. And then make your way into a lab and kill an even bigger spider. And for some reason, you have the password. So you just log in the password and get a super chip. And then give the shit back to Bo because you're a nice guy and he gave you 2,000 raw science in return. And then you decide to wave your hands in the air like you just don't care and reward you got a mosquito needle. And now you kill a black ant. I don't know why you didn't choose a red ant or a fire ant, but anyway. And then kill some bees and rip their fuzz off from their bodies. And by being bada boom, you got a new armor set. And you make yourself a guild too because, um, actually, that's not on the list. Shut up, man. And once you're in the lab, you can whack every robot you can see. And ta da! You found yourself another super chip. I thought we said no betting on bug fights. Now try to kill a black with the shittiest weapons in the game. But clearly, I suck. So now I went to the up yard and killed Roy Polly and used the team up function to help me. Now get some milk bottles because you deserve it. Now grab some charcoal and burn yourself alive in the process. Now kill yourself a termite soldier and rip its jaws off and make yourself the termite axe. And now use that axe and get yourself some lint, as well as grabbing some pupa. You're gonna need this stuff for later. And I take out Black Rock's while it's getting teamed up by the Lava. Now you can make the Black Rock Hammer by using all of its parts. And head back to the Black Widow and hide as she walks away. She must have forgotten we power spike in the mid to late game. Now relax, and while your green screen breaks, you can get some plank gun pieces. Now back at home, you made the best weapons in the game. Well, for the D tier anyway. And into the haze lab and get greeted by some bombers. And then get greeted by an even bigger one. And you kill it and you get yourself another super chip. Then go and fight the assistant manager where he has ladies around right in the entire room. And then kill him and get the assistant manager keycard. And bada bing, bada boom, you got super chip number three. And now duplicate yourself all the Black Widow parts and to the Black Widow dagger. And make the Widow dagger. And now you might be asking, how is the Widow dagger in the tier list? Well, I'll show you with more research. And now make your way into the sandbox. And while you're here, you can kill some ant lines and open their pit. Inside the pit, you'll find upgrade materials and some soul shards. And I'm going to open up this chest with the key that you somehow found and get a milk molar. Now wander in the sandbox lab and get the sandbox chip. Talk to Burgle and give him the chip and then duplicate your tick about three times. And don't forget to buy the flavored globs as well. And sit and think if you want to make the ant line great sword, but you never do anyway. Now grab yourself some spicy globs and get your tick down the spicy path. Then if you followed all these steps, you should be in the broodmother boss fight where your computer lags a shit ton. Now whack her in the face about 400 times and block every single attack that she gives you. And then soon enough, she should be dead and skip me out giving me 4 out of the 5 broodmother chunks you need. Now of course you don't want to fight her again, so just duplicate the part for 3000 raw science. Now spam through Burgle's entire dialogue, now you know the location of Wendell Scabby. But before you do that, make sure one of your tick blades are down the salty path, because you're going to use this for 2 boss fights. Now sprint, run, jump, and use your dandelion tuft to make your way onto the table, and there is no way in hell I'm going to be building all the way up here, so I'm using dandelion tuft this one time. Now bust over the back, hey, chuck in the yeah. replacement fuse, and make sure you turn it on. While Wendell's having a sad fire message to the world, you don't care anymore because you found the wondrous wormhole. <laughs> actually a good trinket you can use. And grab yourself some toenails and hey look, a mutation I can never use. So apparently Wendell was down in the undershed, so you make your way down there. There apparently seems to be a roadblock of a black widow, but that doesn't matter, you fought one anyway. And now you magically appear in the undershed lab. And you go on a killing spree, killing every single occupant inside the lab. And then you jump inside this hole and find out this buff is hell looking thing. And then you instantly decide to start stabbing it for no reason. Okay, all jokes aside, this is actually the best boss fight in the entire game. The music and everything is really good about it. If you think otherwise, then you're wrong. Now you do a finisher move, just stab him in the gut with your spear. On the intercom, you can hear some talking, so you put your hand on the scanner and look who it is. What? The shit is that? <laughs> oh, bummer, your game crashed. Oh, I guess you gotta do the man fight again. Okay, now this time span through his entire dialogue and go into the fridge and get some grilled science. And now go ahead and duplicate every single piece of resource you need for the beginning cocktail, because you're way too lazy to go out and farm yourself, as well as duplicating some toenails that you need for the infected broodmother BLT. Now make your way up to the Jarpomatic and use your mind to explode the door. Place down the empty and beginning cell and then chuck all your ingredients inside the masher. And now it's time to get some wasps pissed at you. So you go out and kill every single wasp inside. But the final nail in the coffin is apparently breaking the small wasp hive, which they are very pissed about, as clearly shown in this message. Oops. Now make your way into the stump lab. Inside you'll find the 
get this boss recipe, as well as the stump burgle chip. Then go kill a green shield bug for its parts, which you will need for a very OP weapon. And duplicate those parts because you were too lazy to go out and kill another one. And in doing so, you somehow manage to learn tier 3 upgrades. Now you watch the wasps as they break their way into the yard, making their way into the rainbow bin. For some reason, you wake up looking like this. Now make your way to this light post and kill some gnats for free food. Now Metal won't open up the door, so knock him in the head a few times and then he'll finally realize, oh, I'll open up the door for you. Inside, grab the infected broom on the boss recipe and have a very, very long chat with Director Schmechter. Now get both cranky at each other and fight each other. Now, this is the most boring fight in the entire game, so let's just skip all the way to the very end and boom, he's finally dead. Which now gives us the ominous Dardis for the good ending of the game. Now we're gonna fight the man. I'm gonna be eating while I'm doing this because I'm very hungry. Um, I don't have a shield for this fight, so it's gonna be fucking hard as shit. So I die once, and then of course I die again because I can't block for shit. And then third time to charm as I always say, and she finally goes down. Okay, that bit's now over. Now it's time to get the BBQ melody to fight the boss queen, the most annoying fight in the entire fucking game, I tell you. And once again, no shield, and somehow this hit me, which actually can't be blocked without a shield. And then I die for the very first time, and the wasp somehow have a bounce method that they just launch me there and squash my head in. What the fuck? This is the most buggiest session, pun intended, I've ever had in Grounded. Look, the Wasp Queen just literally lost aggro on me. Like, literally lost aggro. And look, even Wendell's like, what the fuck is going on? Now, back on track, once again, I die for, I think, the fourth time now. And then again, I die to this spring lock bouncing trap, which I've actually never experienced ever besides today. But as they say, keep cool, calm, and collected, and you will defeat the Wasp Queen. Now go home and make yourself a sour battle axe and upgrade it accordingly. Now use that sour battle axe in the infected Brubella boss fight, but only use it like once. But I'll say it again, no shield equals dying, especially in the infected Brumella, which you pretty much need a shield for this boss fight. Now you could be like, well, why don't you upgrade your gear and armor to the maximum level to make it easier? I don't like doing that unless I actually need to, which I do here. So in defeat, I go kill some scarabs with twinkling shells, and I also kill some ladybirds for their ladybird shells to upgrade my gear more. And bang, max armor. You happy now? And I'm only upgrading my tick blade once more than before. Still, it was a very challenging fight, but I somehow still defeated her with half HP and got the worst drop rates in the game. And it's final defense time. Here is my low effort defense. And now I'm going to use a sour battle axe in this fight as well as my sour trinket. And I tell you what, this is the most OP combo I've ever seen. Stop the cap. <laughs> I was so good at it, they didn't even get to through my defenses and we finished the brewing process. There you go, grab yourself the infield the beginning cell and make your way home. Having a final look at your base at the very end, I don't know how that got me through so many days. Place the field the beginning cell and don't even talk to Wendell, I just activate the spacer. And now we have finished grounded using D tier weapons only. Now this is quite a challenge because there was actually no shield. This was on medium difficulty the entire time and it only took me 18 days, 1,500 perfect blocks, which was actually not bad. Now here is my opinion on all the D tier weapons, which should be bumped up at least one spot higher to C tier. Now this probably won't happen because none of you will do it, which is completely fine, but if you have any build ideas you'd like me to try and finish the game with, defeating every single boss, please leave them down in the comments below. Have a good rest of your day, and thank you for watching.